Epinephrine is mostly a beta-1 and has some beta-2 adrenergic agonist effects. It also has dose-dependent alpha-1 effects. At low doses, epinephrine's main physiologic effect is causing an increase in cardiac output. The reason for this is that epinephrine at these low doses has greater activity at the beta receptors than alpha receptors. In this case, the effect on beta-1 receptor causes an increase in cardiac contractility and also increases heart rate. While the effect on beta-2 receptors will cause some vasodilation, this is cancelled out by the small effect on vasoconstriction by the stimulation of alpha-1 receptors at these low doses. So at lower doses, the effect of epinephrine on the human body mainly causes an increase in cardiac output and can potentially cause variable effects on vascular resistance. At higher doses, the effect of epinephrine on alpha-1 receptors predominates, and the amount of alpha-1 effects on vasoconstriction will overwhelm the vasodilatory effects caused by the stimulation of beta-2 receptors. Keep in mind that at these high doses, the effect secondary to the stimulation of beta-1 receptors still occurs, and so you will still get an increase in your cardiac output. Putting this all together, there is a net increase in vascular resistance and blood pressure at higher doses of epinephrine, along with increases in cardiac output. The take-home point about epinephrine is that it is a potent beta-1 agonist, causing increases in cardiac output and at higher doses affects alpha-1 receptors to cause increases in vascular resistance and, as a result, increases blood pressure.